So it's a good uh, money economy uh, generation, or not generation, but it, it's a good way to control your economy so you can have a better gun round into the next. Crashy's still hiding in the bin. The Tailwind over top of the site puts Jet on the back side of the play. Crashy's able to quickly take care of Dicey. And there's the Recon Dart going down as well. The Spike attempting to be planted here. Do they get it? No! Almost getting that plant cash. But FNS was there with the crossfire on B because the Spike was dropped closer to the site. That said, though, it's going to be an eco 400 Thieves, and Dicey opens it up onto FNS, and that upgrades into a Phantom, and to keep pushing forward. But unfortunately, the Spike falls first, and Mummy drops with two. So that's short A under control, and they also drop the Phantom upgrade towards the showers, and Envy continue to hold their ground. Envy stalwart on the defense thus far. Nitro, the last man standing. He's had a couple of huge plays this event. People were concerned whether or not Nitro would plug directly in and Immortals roster, excuse me, but it came to bind. They had this great setup with JC Stanny and the Boombot that they would take control of Midwit. But here it's going to be Food who's pushing through in the showers. Mummy there with the backup as well. Now Mummy does fall, but the advantage stays in favor of Envy. Yet again, 100 Thieves not having too much success. The early round going the way of their opposition. It's all falling onto Nitro yet again. He's in the showers. And the round's been rinsed down the drain as it's a one on four and four rounds on the board for Envy about to become five. 100 Thieves really want to try to control both extremities of the map so far with these gun uh, these gun rounds. And you saw that triple set up as they're trying to get into the showers, a triple push. Uh, Battelle was that recon dart that went back and you saw how they adapted from Envy though. They fell back towards the site, they used a run it back instead so that that's going to be the information taker for Envy. And on top of that, you're able to get one kill for food pushing through a cloud burst and then taking down one member of the 100 Thieves, which allows him to get that numbers advantage. But when we're talking about highlight reels from Nitro before, how he fits into this, the story so far is the highlight reel of how food, Mame, and Caboose are currently playing. We talked about them uh, in terms of who we need in terms of the fragging power. The young guns are coming to work, but where Caboose was able to shine, he continues to be able to shine with his anchored play uh, inside the A site and as well as towards the B. He's really being mobile on helping out Envy on on these predictions on the stacks and it's paying off in dividends. 100 Thieves now, they come back into a round where they're looking for a split, but they're really counting on the knives of Dicey, but they have a better crossfire position. I don't know if they're gonna expect somebody playing towards the left side. Well, the curveball gives the jig away, but that still allows a double peek and Crash needs to get the headshot onto Hiko, where Dicey's still trying to retaliate with the left clicks on the knives long range, but the Allen drone is gonna push him out of position. That forces the hand for 100 Thieves to jump outside of Buka, but it's still being held towards that back. And that's what I'm telling you about Caboose, that's three kills for him. And that's only going to be one more remaining. He still has a knives, and Dicey's in a predicament on this fire versus one. Important to note, too, 100 Thieves have typically had a very strong, strong attacking half on this map. Here, here's that traditional boombot control that we saw from Asuna when he played on 100, or Immortals, excuse me. And look at this fast play flying in. Rocket's going to go out, but in the meantime, two players had already fallen. So Caboose mm -hmm. picked off one with an aid, and another one went down as well, reducing things to where we're at currently. And it's a counter rocket coming out. Caboose wants to send one into Hookah and does so. Doesn't really deliver on the threat. It'll just be down to steal though. 31 HP and now getting caught as this player comes in on the flank. A dink shot through the wall. That of the map and you see one of the operators right now. Mame by the APC looking to push aggressively towards short and he still gets that pick on to steal and he keeps walking and walking taking that control and with that it's going to be FNS that's going to push forward you're going to have a battle very soon he wins it he gets the double kill there's only going to be one more and it's going to be Caboose the first as yet another round goes live number 10 double digit rounds but not a single one in favor of 100 Thieves Cyber Cage goes out, but it's a little bit too slow, so FNS will fall to Dicey as they continue to push fast into this A site. But no, he accidentally dashes into the portal. <laughs> so that'll be a bit of a mistake because it takes away the lead performer here, typically for 100 Thieves. Now, at the same point in time, they've still managed to get the spike down, but they did lose Dicey across the map in a battle against Food. Crash East is going to spot one with the Al drone, and the you Dart sends Steel back into the showers. That gives Crash East an opportunity to move out band. further. Unfortunately, the timing will not work well for him as Steel has been the MVP of the round for 100 Thieves. As Food tries to come through with just 2 HP, a self heal is necessary. And that Killjoy ult is down, so the lockdown not going to detain anyone. 
as he waits for his health to tick back up to as close to full as he can get it. 98 HP is all he's gonna get as he has to now dive bomb the spike to try and get the defuse. Quick kill coming out, but ultimately it'll be the 4K from Steel to save her to the defensive side. Steel on the defense is a seriously big problem playing as Killjoy. And NVD still haven't, uh, they've been relentless pretty much on the way that they're taking this map control, pushing aggressively early into the round. This time towards Hookah, it gets stopped. But as this mixed buy is coming through, we are once again counting on Dicey with the knives. But he does connect, connect, sorry, onto FNS. So that works out. He upgrades to a Phantom, and they also open up the site to have a moment of salvation for 100 Thieves to potentially put a second round into this half. And Mummy is going to be the one that's going to try to move forward, but you also still have Caboose alive. So it's still not out of the woods yet. 400 Thieves are just waiting for these smokes to dissipate, and they could try to work together. They have the Paranoia to work with from Mummy on top of that. That's going to blind Dicey, but at least the crossfire is there to allow Asuna to get the frag onto Caboose. So last one to go is Mame. That clock is ticking down. He's just going to wind it down. He doesn't mind for them to lose the round in the end. But it'll be nice to get a couple of kills for Mame to just continue. There you go. To just continue to be crisp once they take the attacker side. And there you go. Losing to Dignitas, 13-11. They did pick up a big win against Renegades 13 to 3 and also Complexity 13 to 7, but at the same point in time, the results certainly speak for themselves. Envy look like a completely different beast today. Mm -hmm. As they are up 11 2 and they're in a 5 on 3 as well. Looks like they might left. secure that 12th round as the spike's about to be planted. 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 Dicey is forced to work with an LMG. The errors. It's, is he going to be able to make something happen? He dashes in with the tailwind, and as soon as he peeks, Crossfired upon, so now it's down Black to just two. <laughs> Even a beautiful oh. dart that greets him when he lands after that There's dash. And FNS picks up the last few thieves. And I like what 100 Thieves is doing here getting aggressive, using this lighter hardware to try and take that battle straight to the faces. And oh no, yeah, big. that is a brutal paranoia. That flash can be oh so intense. Dicey's trying to find safety in those swirling winds but not able to, as eventually the bullets will pour through and he will succumb to his injuries, as does Nitro coming through the portal. It all falls on the boomers. Hiko and Steel, what can they do with just pistols? We've seen impressive moments from them. Those two first kills that came in from Dice to retaliate after losing Asuna so early in the round was definitely like definitely lucky because it was through the smoke, but you're happy to get those. That helps to build that momentum. But Envy, they're forcing through this one and they're looking to take the round back in their hands. So a first one to fall as they're trying to pressure down towards this mid as 100 Thieves, they said, look, Envy, you kept pressuring us on that previous round or the previous map. We want to do the same thing to you on our defender side here. And Mummy, a share to the face, to the Domo Steel, a Steel falls and they take a two-man advantage. Dicey moving into position. We'll spot the first one at the bottom of ropes. Gets another as well with the SMG. Ooh, switches to the pocket. SMG hits a frenzy. Caboose sitting at the bottom. Gets some support from his teammate, but they're waiting on the other side. Currently, Nitro taking a duel with Crashies. Will win that battle. It's somehow awkwardly fallen into a two-on-two. -two. You've got Breach yeah. and Omen left for 100 Thieves. The spike can be planted here. And he's in a great position. Oh my gosh, close. I was concerned. Watching Food sneak into that corner, thought maybe he'd be able to get into a better position to win that battle. But now it comes down to Caboose. Hiding inside the dark cover, the spike not exactly planted perfectly for him, but there is at least a bit of an angle there. And you can see the pings coming out from the squad as they try to offer some backup. First shot needed to be on the money, and it wasn't where it needed to go. So it will be two rounds in a row for 100 Thieves, but a, a promising second round for Envy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, round. So it's going to be another gun round or a force buy coming in for Envy. Well, you do have a couple of fans of the Spectre and still a surprise attack from Food and make that a Sheriff in the face of still again, unfortunately, but Nitro's in the sight. He drops two of his own. He's low on HP. Close range is going to be Mummy turning around the corner at the pillar, and that's one player to fall. Asuna on his own, making it a two versus one, upgrades to a Phantom, and as the spike has just been freshly planted, he still has a, has a chance, sorry, to press this forward. Asuna dropping to the bottom of ropes. There's two players remaining here on the other side for Envy. Asuna didn't really get his foot in the door in that last map, but has an opportunity to start that here. Asuna slowly creeks out. There's one towards spawn. The Jingle Peak comes through. The Dink shot's in. Nice shot from Asuna, though. 
that eliminates Mame. There's the paint shells coming in, but food is quick with the peek. And the swap to the rifle at the end as well. And me into this round. So the tides have turned into this first half early. But it's still going to be Nitro that gets two of his own. He wants to turn his back for the 100 Thieves. And that's two to fall, but no spike. It's actually still hiding behind a dark cover. And he's looking for his teammates. He's got the camera out. That's FNS looking back and forth. And they have to count on two players on mid to try to open it up. But it's still a two-man crossfire towards that heaven side. And Nitro even eliminates the spike carrier as they're slowly trying to pinch in. So food on his own looking for another clutch here he gets the first one onto steel back to a two versus one there's an alarm bot into ropes he doesn't know that yet but that's going to give a lot of information a lot of help for the hundred thieves should they know that he's coming through that side but the spike is down and they're using the smarter play to actually stick together and just watch that spike on the a main food climbing up the ropes great Getting the free shots into his back. Higo was just holding and been shaping up, trying to prevent 100 Thieves money from sort of snowballing out of control. Ooh. Mame falling back, and they actually use FNS's cameras as well to see if they're going to push out towards that ramp. They did. He came back, cut the first kill. Asuna trying to even up the tally. He gets two of his own with the Spectre, and he avenges his teammate and puts it back in advantage of the 100 Thieves. And Asuna is moving forward with the Showstopper, looking for his opponents inside the sewers, but does not connect. The paint shell's coming down, forcing him out, but he's he's falling back. Caboose is now running forward, and he's going to catch him off guard. A backstab of his own. A three versus three as food has made it inside the site to get a kill. But Hiko immediately trades it back. It's a two versus two as they have their own duels across the map on the A site with the spike being planted. That's Hiko now on his own. At 22 HP, all he has left is a fault line and also the angle. The wall bang onto food. The information given away as he trips over the trap wire. As Envy with the showstopper still available. Paint shells in the air. And Hiko, oh my god, he's playing it so well here for this one versus one. Caboose is just playing that time. He's the one that's playing it super well. He goes for the jiggle peek from the blast pack, oh. and he's just counting it down. And he still manages to get the kill onto Hiko on the one. Three players currently grouping up over towards ramp. And that'll be Crash. He's popping his ult, moving in towards heaven. Caboose gonna just send a rocket straight Big to the flash. base of steel. Look at the bait and switch that's coming in from Envy currently. This is masterfully played. They've made them believe that this is going to be an A hit, when in reality the spike is over left. on B. Sure, kills are piling up for 100 Thieves, but surprise, the spike's all the way across the map, and Mummy's in a position where he can get out of dodge. And now they've pushed in through to spawn. Food's able to catch off Nitro, and the plan starts to work out for them. Three on three, the number is still not an advantage for Envy, but they've got time on their side if they've already managed to exhaust some of that clock. Hiko somehow catches food off guard. The flash comes through, and he can't get around the quarter in time with low HP picked off by the Ghost. Mummy with a quick shot coming out from the Operator, but it's going to fall onto him. The Blade Storm gets popped. Mummy, though, missing, and now it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Op versus Breach. The stun from that's the breach, it. the fault line not working out. Getting around the corner is Mummy, and that's it. The round, like you said, it's over. Mummy's gonna die here, as is Hiko, but it's okay. Envy's won the round. A little bit scary there, but I like. Dark cover towards the A main. You did have a cyber cage and a camera, so they know where one offer is at, and it's gonna be Nitro that connects onto Mummy, who is trying to dash across into the A ramp. And now the from the shadows and still working from the air at the A heaven is also able to hold the aggressive push coming in from Envy. The Crashies have made it his, his way inside the site, gets the first kill. A nice fake plant, actually. He looks for the angle, but unfortunately on the timing, left. looks back. And Asuna takes the upper hand. You only have one more to go. Food with 11 HP. I like it. I mean, with a three versus one, you... They spot one early, but they don't actually deal any damage. Envy, in the meantime, has taken control of heaven. 100 Thieves playing a little bit more passive in this scenario. Hiko is backed off. Nitro is watching the exit as well. They have an appreciation that this could be going on, but do they get away? No. Now Caboose is going to fly into position, and the flash was perfect. That leaves Nitro staring at the surface of the sun. Caboose is going to fly into sight. That puts a lot of pressure on the young fragger Asuna, who's currently up in heaven, but the spike is going to be planted, and Asuna's got too many corners spike to clear. Planted. So it will be a five-on-three post-plant. Envy's in great positions for this.
Well, the showstopper is going to give a chance for Mummy to position himself, but it's immediately traded out. He got one, so he did his job. It's a four on two in favor of Envy, as you have Asuna that's still looking to retake this with Dicey. Dicey has his own operator, which would make it difficult for them to go for that retake. They still have paint shells to work with where they can clear this corner. There you go. He throws it into the area, and that maybe could flush somebody out, but it's a little bit... No, it connects right on the dot. Fruit balls, showstopper to come out, connects onto another one. He pulls himself up. It's a one versus one as Dashy. Uh, Dicey, sorry, dashes in with the Frenzy, picking up the Vandal, and now it's all up to the time. Unfortunately, it's wasted. Crashies wins that one, and no matter what, the spike was going to go off. And enough here. It's still going to be 7-7. Seven seven. Tied up in this second half, where 100 Thieves are trying to work back as a unit to take control of this B Heaven. It started off with a Flashpoint, but there's still going to be one to fall. Steel, though, goes to work on his own from the front of the garage, and he gets two kills into the B site and opens it up. This allows right now Dicey to push all the way forward, close range with the Frenzy, going head-to-head -head versus Hood, looking for his revenge from that previous round. That smoke is about to dissipate, and he does not get the kill, but still manages to fall back. That allows Hood to push forward, but still 400 Thieves to move inside the site and get the spike planted down. Spike planted. Food spamming through that swirling cloud. Dicey just... Runs straight in and takes the battle. Crashies Last is there with a quick trade. Mummy is moving in as well. The Killjoy ult has been popped and it's about to dissipate and it does. Crashies has to back off for the time being. It's a one on two. They've still got to deal with the Omen and Breach on site. Some fall damage for Crashies as he dives into the site. But nice flash coming out. Even with the alarm bot triggering, he's got a target straight to his left. Does he peek this? He actually gets around the corner in time. This is really well played from both sides. As Crashies taps the spike yet again, Nitro is it falling for it. Does he have the time? Takes the oh, peek. Yeah. And at this point, now it's all does. too go far gone. 100 Thieves managed to scoop up the round. And even the turret is trying to get involved in the action. Does the spike take him out? No. Nitro will fall <laughs> thanks to the spike. But I got a little concerned that that- Nitro face to face to win that round. So it's still- uh, a, a decent eco for the 100 Thieves. With this gun round, they're looking to go for some type of aggressive plays towards the B side, and it's an ultimate towards heaven, but Caboose gets the first kill with the boom bot. Fully blinded as FNS. He eats a couple of paint shells, forced to fall back inside the site, but Caboose leans over, gets the first kill onto Steel, a second one onto Dicey to put the third onto the board. Make that a fourth, looking for the ace, as Nitro, again, unfortunately, on a five versus one this time, but Boot stops him. The freeze time ticks down. Here's an aggressive play coming out from Caboose. He flies in. The rocket is right on the money, but a quick trade is there. So well played from Seal to sit back, but they do lose Asuna, and that's a huge first loss for the attacking side. It's 100 Thieves. You should He's trying to gain control. Yep. And look at this. Food is in a great position. Do they know this? That's another one for one. Nitro goes down. Dicey gets the trade. There's the Killjoy ult coming in, the lockdown. Breach is still on the B site. Mummy has to move out of position, but that's a quick shot coming down onto Dicey. Now, the ult does give them control of B, at least for the I time being, exactly as Crashies has backed out of sight and surrendered oh, it over. Neural Theft will Perfect. give away player positions. Rolling Thunder coming up, and it's right on the money, but it creates a skeet shooting like scenario for Mummy, and he can't connect with the op. It does come down to one. It's Steel, and not able to survive against FNS. That Yinsu talked about. After 128 teams, down to 100 Thieves and also to Envy. But Envy are at map point, looking to make this 2-0. to zero. And it starts off well as FNS runs around the map and gets two kills of his own. He's fully flash and he has a teammate to help him out. Some somehow he's still alive and finally gets dropped by Hiko. Hiko trying to run inside the site, crossed hard by two players. One more to go. It's going to be Steel to get dropped by Crashies. And we end the seconds. They're trying to push forward with another mix by only having the shares into this round. But it's food. Amy in on the site, on the top of Switch, looks down towards Pizza, and Asuna falls. Food gonna use the hot hands to heal up and drop the door down as well. 100 Thieves do have bid control, at least for the time being. Tripwire gets taken out by Dicey, who again is on a Sheriff. Spy coming in from 100 Thieves, not fantastic due to the fact that they did force in the last round and weren't able to make much work for them. Steel pushing in closer. Mummy currently at the backside of A Heaven. Does some damage, but decides to back off. Good call. Give them control of mid for the time being. Steel is currently on 45 HP. It's the three remaining players for Hunter Thieves trying to move up in mid. And while they've gotten up pretty far close to spawn, they haven't been able to left. do much with it. 
as they're not sure of a looming threat that could be waiting on both sides. On one side, you've got Omen. On the other side, you've got nothing. But Hundred Thieves, none the wiser to that, as Mummy again gets a backpedal off the early damage that comes his direction and continues to just get that information and buy time for his team to get into better positions. Mummy now right around the corner, still left. can't manage to make it work with the Sheriff, but just a few seconds left as they try to make their way onto the site. Somehow, they're going to get a spike plant out of this potentially. Ooh. No, it's denied, and the round is as well. With just two seconds left, there's nothing that can be done for Dicey, who's executed in the end by... FNS is waiting right around the corner. There's players in B main just has to be patient right now as Lear comes through first and blinds him. Nice dash coming out from Dicey, but it's not enough to get past FNS, who manages to pick up one more. Yet again, it's Hiko all alone and Envy just keep things going. The gas pedal is current. Spots the second one, so they're gonna spray through the default box, but Food still comes out on the white swing to save his teammate. Hunter's Fury to come out. Food is still looking to save his life in the front, but they line up, and he takes two with the Hunter's Fury. You also have control towards the back of the site, as it seems as though we do have the Omen already making his way with Nitro. Watching the rotation, but he loses the fight to Caboose up on Catwalk. A three versus two, a spray through the smoke. Caboose is down to 81 HP, but they have wasted enough time here for Envy to eventually come in for a crunch time Not into the A site. Trade after trade, though, it's going to be Hiko looking to clutch this out. He's spotted. He's wide swinging on two players, but cannot get a single one. And Envy continues for Buck at the pregame of this map. Even though you have a lead, maintain your composure. And Mummy does so. A connection onto Asuna. Crashes with the crossfire. He's able to get the kill. But that's three. Made that four simultaneously. Out from Killjoy, so lockdown will at least attempt to clear out the B site. <laughs> But there's the pulses coming out. They're trying to take down the ult for the Killjoy, and it works out. So they, they pop that ult, and they manage to eliminate the threat. Steel still moving in. Spray coming down towards the stairs. Okay. Nice shooting by both him and Asuna to make it a favorable round. FNS and Caboose trying to do what they can, but it all falls on to Caboose, who pops Empress. Now in a 1v3, a target and spawn spot of them as they try to go around the corner. There's the Leer to lead them in, and yeah, not really much that Nitro can do about that one. Oh, an offshot miss as he dismisses. Oh my god, that was so good from Caboose. Now he gets inside the site, the Leer. That two versus one, but a perfect recon dart spots him towards the cabin. The right click then comes in from Dicey, and they save that round for the 100. And Asuna was able to contain him long enough for Envy to go for the pulse pass situation and position. There's the ult being popped, and they're starting to run into position. 100 Thieves capitalizes on poor timing from Envy on the ult pop. Everything lands on Crashies, who's currently in sight. The cross shot is right on the money. That buys time for Crashies, who's currently on site. Mummy maybe just saving the day with that quick shot that comes out. Now, Crashies may have seen the barrel around the corner. That's the spike going down. Hiko's trying to move into position. Crashies now has to keep his head on a swivel. There's a player on both sides. Now, the Nano Swarm will land in sight just outside of hell, but there's the quick shot coming in from Crashies. He's now brought it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Crashies versus the Clutch God himself, Hiko, who's trying to spam those boxes in sight to spot out his final target. There's the shock dart coming in, looking to do additional Wow. damage crashes with a huge play to cap off the first half. multiple threats from that defense steel is on site and oh boy steel is going to need some help the turret gets taken down paranoia pours into that position nice quick shot coming out from steel doing what he can but the spike will be planted dicey's looking for that target that should have been short hiko is going to pick one off and that's actually the spike planter going down as the shock dart lands right on the money now dicey hits an initial dink shot has to follow with up uh, followed up with a shot in the toe. But regardless, 100 Thieves have themselves in a great position. It's now two on four. The Frenzy in close position, not gonna work out so well, and it's all up to Mummy. Mummy's picked off one, trying to make it work, but there's just too many targets, and they are far too close. 100 Thieves, as they're going for a three-man stack up on Catwalk. The participation medal so far was that they were able to put down food to 5 HP before he has to heal back up. But then Dicey has different plans. He peeks out on the catwalk. He takes two, make that even a third one. But it gets traded off finally by Crashy. Killing spree has been stopped, but it's still a two-man advantage in favor of the defenders. One enemy remaining. Well, so much for that strong push coming in from Envy here after picking up that nice round previously. Crashies. All alone with a bulldog. 
We'll see if that bulldog is all bark, no bite. It seems to be the case. Asuna peeks out from Catwalk. Four players survive as hundred. Catwalk. The participation medal so far was that they were able to put down food to 5 HP before he has to heal back up. But then Dicey has different plans. He peeks out on the catwalk. He takes two, being that even a third one. But it gets traded off finally by Crashy. Killing spree has been stopped, but it's still a two minute advantage in favor of the defenders. One well, so much for that strong push coming in from Envy here after picking up that nice round previously. The Crashies all alone with a bulldog. We'll see if that bulldog is all bark, no bite. It seems to be the case. A soon curveball comes around the corner. Steel has to back off. That does give them control of the ult orb, which means run it back is now a problem. As he peeks wide, he does drop the spike plant, but there's the push that comes through with that ult as well. They're going to move into position. The knives, not exactly where they need to be initially for Dicey, but eventually does take down the Phoenix. The ult will send him reeling back into B main. Caboose picking off Nitro, who was hiding in the site. And it's a four on three in favor of Envy. You still have the knives up there. It's been replenished as he kills to run it back earlier on by food. The low HP though is gonna be the Rena Asuna trying to move forward. Stuck at the cabin. Now being pinged by the Owl Drone, courtesy of Crashy Silva, who's been a thorn on their side. When we talked about how good Mummy could be in the server with the operator, it's not needed when players like Crashies continue to be such a dominant factor for the success of Envy on this map. But Dicey trying to move in. We're, we're still watching him. It's just Hiko trying to do heroic plays on his own. He gets a second one here, but the clock is still ticking on that spike. They're just looking for that econ damage, and there you go. And he's even going to possibly die to the spike too, and indeed it will. And close qualifier, and you can see why they have worked out so well throughout the bracket play from both the open qualifier and to this point currently as they try to cap off an impressive run that would see them take number one seed at Riot's event. There's Caboose with a kill, and I love the dismiss past the Nano Swarm, getting past that digital molly, as Rivington calls it. Steals on sight, over towards the generator, and Caboose is just cutting them to pieces. It all falls down onto two. Asuna pops his ult as well, figures, what can I do? This is a bit of an odd ult coming out from Crashies, but it doesn't matter in the end. Caboose will get that third and final kill. Envy goes flawless in the grand finals with a 3-0 victory over 